Okay, buddy, you're going to be good, okay? Carolina Albenstaden was determined to breastfeed her firstborn child. But when Kai was born last June, things didn't work out like she had planned. At first with Kai, I'm not going to lie, it was very challenging. Um, I had a, a difficult delivery with a bunch of issues, and Kai ended up being in the NICU. Kai was in intensive care for a few days. As soon as he got out, Alban Stoughton tried to breastfeed him. Her nipples were sore. Kai couldn't latch on. Alban Stoughton started to panic. It's amazing um, how emotional this uh, breastfeeding can be, how, you know, we have our hormones are going crazy, um, we're overwhelmed, we want to feed our babies, and, and, there's, and we're losing perspective. Fortunately, Kai was born at Scripps Memorial Hospital in Encinitas, where they have six board-certified lactation consultants. I sat down, um, got some help, positioned uh, Kai, and he latched on. And it didn't hurt. Hi. Hi. Oh, let me see your sweet baby. <laughs> he was just nursing, oh, but he look just how beautiful fell you together. are. Vicki oh. Wolfram was the lead lactation consultant Sorry. at Scripps Encinitas. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can see the palate. She passed away after we interviewed her. Lactation consultants at this hospital check in with every new mom. He's being so polite. He's sticking his, look at how he's sticking his tongue out for me. And make sure that they aren't having any problems with breastfeeding. Did this little one get to get on the um, skin to skin and get yes. on the breast in the first hour? Yes, he How did. did that go? Was he pretty vigorous or? He was, yeah. He's been, he's been pretty interested since we put him on and he's been nursing a lot. All of the staff at Scripps Encinitas have been trained on best practices to promote breastfeeding. This is where we have um, pumps to rent. Wolfram said these include helping moms to initiate breastfeeding within an hour of birth. So if the baby is placed skin to skin, a lot of times the, the baby will, will try to scooch over to the breast and will actually just latch on all by themselves doesn't always happen and in those cases the nurse of course will will help but if she's not having success then she'll come and get the lactation consultant. Scripps Encinitas has adopted the 10 steps needed to become a baby friendly hospital. The World Health Organization introduced the baby friendly hospital initiative in 1991. It's based on research that shows breastfed infants have lower rates of asthma, childhood obesity and a number of other adverse health conditions. Scripps Encinitas became the first baby-friendly hospital in the county in 2004. When did he eat last? Nurse Judy Mills has worked at the hospital for 18 years. How are you doing, buddy? She says some women have a lot of problems with breastfeeding. Yeah. But we can certainly um, work with those moms, and we have, and we do um, help them to succeed. We have all kinds of things we pull out of our hat to make them be able to breastfeed and be successful at it. The California Department of Public Health issues an annual report on in-hospital breastfeeding rates. The latest report reveals nearly 91% of women exclusively breastfeed their babies at Scripps Encinitas. But just 15 miles away here at Tri-City Medical Center in Oceanside, the in-hospital breastfeeding rates are much lower. Tri-City is not a certified baby-friendly hospital. So this is our new updated labor and delivery room. Tri-City's Marissa Allen says her staff does encourage breastfeeding, but she admits only 57% of moms exclusively breastfeed at Tri-City. We have moms that come in that want to exclusively breastfeed and we try to support them the best that we can. And some moms that come in and if they ask for formula, we give them the risks of formula, but it's ultimately, again, their choice. The World Health Organization says hospital staff that are trained in baby-friendly techniques greatly increase the percentage of moms who exclusively breastfeed. Medical surgical ICU. Bella Kaufman is Senior Director of Clinical Services at Scripps Encinitas. She points out not all women come in wanting to breastfeed. There are a lot of moms who really don't know the difference still. And the formula companies do an excellent job of marketing. Baby formula. Nobody markets breastfeeding because nobody gets paid for marketing breastfeeding. You trust Enfamil to nourish your baby. Nonetheless, California law requires all hospitals that have a birthing center to be baby friendly by 2025. Only four hospitals in San Diego County currently have that designation. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.